Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at constructing different types of triangles. So we'll look at constructing an equilateral, an isosceles, and then we'll look at replicating some triangles that have some angles within them. So we're going to have a look at drawing this. You are going to need a ruler, you're going to need a pencil, and you are going to need a compass. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so for our first question, it says here to construct an equilateral triangle with side lengths of 7 centimetres. So an equilateral triangle, all of the side lengths are the same. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to get our ruler and we're going to need to draw the base. Now the base may be drawn for you on an exam question, but if it's not, you would just have to draw the base in yourself. So get in your pencil and your ruler and very carefully drawing a nice 7 centimetre line. And there we go, we've got our 7 centimetre line. Now we're only going to need the ruler now in order to make sure our compass is the correct length because now we're going to get our compass, we're going to put the point on the end of the ruler, we're going to measure it out, there we go, we're going to measure it out to 7 centimetres, being super accurate with that, and we're going to draw some construction lines. So we're going to put the compass on the end of the line and we are going to draw an arc just like we would when we're doing some loci. So we're going to draw, there we go, let's just measure this out again. There we go, seven centimetres, and we're just going to draw an arc. So sticking it on the end there, drawing a nice arc upwards, and then move your compass to the other side of the line. And we're going to draw exactly the same arc coming back down. There we go, and that point there where they cross over, so we can move our compass out of the way. The point there where they cross over is the top point of the triangle. So from the bottom of the line, very carefully, with your ruler, connect that up. And then again from the bottom, connect that up right to the top of the triangle. And there we go, always leave your construction lines in the diagram. But now we have our equilateral triangle with side lengths of 7 drawn perfectly. So that's how we would go about constructing an equilateral triangle. Let's have a look at an isosceles. Okay, so when we are drawing an isosceles, we're going to do it in a very similar way. So let's read the question carefully because it says construct an isosceles triangle with side lengths of 8 centimetres, 9 centimetres, and 9 centimetres. So it's going to be easiest here if we draw 8 centimetres as the base. So we're going to do that the same as before, just putting our ruler onto the page, a nice straight line from 0 across to 8 centimetres, which is just there, and then we're going to just do the same as before. So when we get our compass, we're going to put it on the start of the ruler, make sure that we measure this out carefully, and this time we're going to measure it to 9 centimetres, so just beyond the 8 centimetres there, and being very careful to make sure that's exactly 9. Now again, we're just going to draw some construction lines, so if we put our compass, let's just move this out of the way, if we put our compass onto the end of the line again, and we're going to draw a nice arc of 9 centimetres, and then we'll go back over to the other side, being super careful to put it right on the end of the line, and draw another arc of 9 centimetres. And there we go. That is going to be a nice isosceles triangle for us, and that is going to have 9 centimetre lengths from either side. So from the end of each line, connect that up to the point where they crossed over, just up there, and from the other side of the line, connect it up again, and there we go. Obviously being very careful to draw that perfectly, and the best thing that you can do on this type of question is also to label the sides. So down the bottom there, I'm just going to label this one as the 8cm base, and then label these two as 9cm either side, and there we go. That's nice and constructed there. We've got an 8cm base and those two lengths of 9cm, which would make this an isosceles triangle, where those two lengths there are the same side. Okay, so they are our first two questions, constructing an equilateral and constructing an isosceles. Let's have a look at two questions for you to have a go at. Okay, so here's your two questions. You've got construct an equilateral triangle with side lengths 8 on the left, and construct an isosceles triangle with side lengths of 6, 8 and 8 on the right. So pause the video, have a go at drawing these on a piece of paper, and then we'll go over the answers in just a second. Okay, so for the first one, now we've got to do these 8 centimetres, so obviously make sure you have enough space on the page to fit it in. So first of all, we'll draw an 8 centimetre line, then we get our compass, measure that out to 8 centimetres, which is the same there, 
and then we're going to draw our arcs in so make sure that's nicely positioned on the end of the line draw your first arc it's going to go over the question and then draw our second arc and there we go it just actually fits move your compass out the way and then connect that up from the end of each line as perfectly as you can and there we go there is our equilateral triangle again can't get them almost perfect on the screen but you'll be able to get them as close to perfect as possible when you're doing these on some paper so on to the next one we're going to construct our isosceles triangle that has a base length of six so same process we're going to draw a nice straight base length of six and then we are going to do an eight centimeter line for the two lengths or the diagonal lengths that are going to go up so measure that out to eight centimeters there we go, just a little bit closer to eight centimeters, there we are. And again, we're gonna draw some construction lines. So putting that over the top, and there's eight centimeters. And then over to the other side, eight centimeters again. And there we go, that's definitely gone all over the question, but that's fine. We'll draw that in with a nice straight line. So connecting it up from the bottom left, up to the top, and from the bottom right. And again, just up to the top there. So again, with these types of questions, it is ideal for you to label the sides as well. So on the first one, we'd have put eight centimeters on all the sides as it was an equilateral. And on the, for some reason won't let me draw over that line, so there we go. And on the other one, we will put six centimeters on the base and then show which sides there were eight centimeters. And there we go, we have our isosceles triangle drawn as well. So there we go, that is how we would draw these ones. Now we're going to have a look at a slightly different type of question. So let's have a look at that one now. Okay, so this is going to be one of our last questions and you've got one to have a go at. So it says construct an accurate drawing of the triangle below. And we can see on that triangle below there we've got a base of 8, we've got that diagonal length there from A to C which is 7 centimetres, and then we also have to construct that angle of 43 degrees. So this one is a little bit trickier to draw, but to start with we're going to draw that base. So if we put this just to the side and we will measure out 8 centimetres nice and neatly and move this ruler out of the way because we definitely want to label up the sides on this one so we can show the orientation that we have drawn it. So there we go, that's 8 centimetres. Now in order to get that angle we're going to need to use a protractor. So if we get our protractor, and you're going to need a protractor for this one if you're going to practice it, we're going to put the protractor with that little crosshair just on the left so we can measure out that 43 degrees. Now as we are measuring from zero there going anti-clockwise we're going to use the inside numbers. So I'm going to try my best to get that exactly on 48. So just before the 130 on the outside numbers it's just there. Again I'm going to try and do this as perfectly as I can but I'm not going to get this perfect. Much easier if you are doing this right in front of you on a piece of paper. So there we go, that is our angle drawn. We can get rid of our protractor for the moment because now we just want to connect that up and we want to draw it to a 7 centimetre length. Not the easiest to do, but you need to just angle your ruler so it is in line with that and the end of the line. There we go, that looks like, for me, it's almost perfect. So I'd say that's about as perfect as I'm going to get it there. So start your ruler on 0 at the end of the line and line it up as carefully as you can and that's going to allow me now to go from the bottom left of the base and up to through that point at 43 degrees up to 7 centimeters. Now at this point what you could do is you could get your protractor just double measure it just to make sure that it's definitely 43 degrees otherwise you're going to have to redraw it but I'm happy with that and I'm happy that that there is 7 centimeters and we'll label that. Now well, the base was 8 that was 7 so all we need to do now is finish it off by connecting the top down to the bottom and there we go that is our accurate drawing. Now as well as this we're going to label that 43 degrees so putting that angle of 43 in and again you can connect that up like the diagram if you want to. But that is now an accurate drawing we could even label the sides A, B and C just like it's done in the diagram. Now you will notice it looks slightly different to the diagram and that's why it says in these questions that the diagram is not draw accurately drawn. But now we have actually accurately drawn it. Now what we could be asked to do as well is we could actually be asked to measure one of the other angles. So potentially it could say actually measure the angle ABC which would be this angle just here. So that angle ABC we could be asked to work out and we could say what that angle is by using our protractor putting it onto the triangle 
Again, now we are measuring clockwise, so I use the outside numbers, and you can see that that lands just up there, just before 60 degrees, looks like maybe 68 degrees. So maybe for that question there, I would say that that angle is 68 degrees, and not forgetting on a question like this, because you are obviously drawing it, there is a margin of error, so it could potentially be one to two degrees either side of that. But of course, this question didn't ask for that, but it could. So, for us to finish, I've got one question for you to have a look at, so let's have a look at that question now. Okay, so here's your question. So it says here, construct an accurate drawing of the triangle below, which you can see, and measure the size of angle BAC on your diagram. And you can see just in the bottom left of the triangle that angle's been highlighted for you. So you just need to draw this and hopefully when you measure that angle, it will be quite closely linked to the angle that I get on the screen. So pause the video there, have a go at drawing this one, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So we're gonna start again by measuring out the base. So if we measure the base, that has a base of eight centimeters. So let's measure that out, and with our ruler, starting at zero, going over to eight centimeters, puts us to there. Now we need to measure that angle of 38 degrees, so I'm gonna to go to the right of the line, and I'm gonna measure that out as carefully as I can. So going on the left angles or the left numbers on the outside of the protractor, I'm gonna to go to the line that is two before 40, so as best as I can, it's there. And now we'll move the protractor out of the way. Now that length needs to be 7.3 centimeters, so that's quite an awkward one to draw, but let's just have a look and see if we can get it. We should just be able to get this perfect. There we go, just about line that up. So that has to be seven, 0.3 centimeters. So let's see how I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is because I've because of the way I actually I could do it underneath. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it over the top. So I'm going to put 7.3 just on the end of the bottom line there. So that is 7.3. There we go. Just about got that perfect. I'm going to extend that up to the zero on the top of the ruler. Now, obviously, if you have this on a piece of paper, you can swizzle the paper around. You can do it at a different angle, which will be a lot easier than me just doing it on here. But there we go. I just about get that up to zero. I probably could have done that a little bit more accurately. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go from zero. And I'm going to bring that all the way down to 7.3, I can't quite get it perfect. But there we go, I've gone just past it, so I'm gonna just do a millimeter off that when I connect it up. But there we go, that is my angle there of 38 degrees. Again, you can do that a lot better than me if you are doing this on paper. And then I just wanna connect that up from the bottom left, and I'm gonna try and go just a millimeter shorter as I just went over, there we go. And that would be an accurate drawing. So this was my eight centimeters, this was my 7.3 centimeters, there we go, this angle down here is 38 degrees. Again, I'll just label that in. And it wants me to measure the angle BAC. So that goes from B down to A and over to C. So that is the angle in the bottom left, this one just here. So hopefully yours will be pretty close to mine. And if we measure it out, so putting the protractor on there, we're measuring anti-clockwise. So I'm gonna use the inside numbers. And it looks to me like that is around 60 four degrees on mine, but again, yours could be either side by a couple of degrees. But for me, it came out of 64 degrees, and that is an accurate drawing of this triangle. Okay, so there we go. So we looked at drawing an equilateral and isosceles and drawing accurate um, drawings of particular triangles that were already drawn for us. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it was useful and helpful. If it was, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.